Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Oh, goodness. For my Taurus, please. These cards are a little too big for my hands. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Okay. So we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. We have the um, Eight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands and the Hierophant Taurus Energy. So under the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. So Taurus, this could be your side. <coughs> this could be your person's side. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, guys, I feel like what we have here is a situation where someone here feels really bad. Like someone here wants to work something out. There's going to be communication here. I feel that someone here feels guilty because they didn't put work into a connection. So they're coming in wanting to work on a connection, wanting to talk, wanting to work things out. I feel like someone here is wanting higher levels of commitment. Um, with the Queen of Wands energy here, we have someone that's in this energy of, of feeling very confident and motivated to do this. So if we're, if the person that, bleh, I can't speak, the person on this side, if before we have someone that was, um, not sure of the connection now they are now they're very confident of the connection tell me about the five of cups please the five of cups we have the eight of wands again so taurus we have a lot of communication happening here eight of pentacles and the ace of wands yeah this might be someone that you are not in communication with so taurus this could be you uh you know restarting communication with somebody wanting higher levels of commitment or someone's coming towards you and i feel like you are not talking to this person um this is going to be someone that is coming in to start uh, you know to start something new the Justice card and the Reverse Libra Energy. I feel like someone here wants to communicate about how they treated the other person unfairly, okay? So there's going to be communication about, you know, when we were together, it was really unfair to you. I know I didn't treat you right. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. We have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So I feel here, Taurus, that whoever's on this side is acknowledging the fact that, you know, they didn't act right in the past. They're acknowledging that. They're acknowledging the fact that, you know, it was very unfair the way they treated the other person. And I feel like this person, um, you know, the guilt is kind of consuming this person like they have trouble sleeping at night so this apology is coming in and i feel like this person wants to date to marry at this point like they're really serious about coming in and um having something serious okay so let's see what we have on this side here clarity guidance and love messages clarity guidance love messages clarity Guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Okay, so here we have the Ten of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. And the Full Aries Energy. Under the deck, we've got the world card. I feel like what's happening here, guys, is someone is really wanting a connection. They're really wanting a teammate. They're really wanting to work something out here. With the full card and the seven of pentacles, um, 
So I feel like there's an opportunity coming in here. And I feel like someone here, uh, it's required to take the leap of faith to invest in this connection again. So here we have someone that's coming in with the communication. And here we have the opportunity to work something out. So I feel like Spirit is saying... Um, if you take the risk and invest in this connection, it's going to it's going to work. This time around, it's going to work, Taurus. So with the world card, I feel like there's a cycle that is ending for you, whether it's in this relationship or in matters of love in general. Um, there's going to be a major, the world card is a major arcana, so there's a major shift here in your love life. I feel like if you were being treated unfairly in the past or if, if you always got basically the crappy end of the stick, you know what I'm saying, that is changing. Taurus. I feel like this is going to require that you take a leap of faith and invest in someone or in a connection, um, and you will not be sorry that you did. Tell me about the Ten of Cups, please. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy, and we have the Four of Swords. So I feel, Taurus, that whoever's on this side... Um, is either in the process or has just recently come out of a situation where someone was in the process of healing, maybe a slight depression, um, not really wanting to go out. Someone here was in the process of stabilizing themselves, okay? And now, out of nowhere, we get this offer, you know, to work on a relationship. Three of Pentacles. And the Strength card in the reverse, Leo Energy. Spirit is saying not to hold back. Not to hold back, be vulnerable, <coughs> be open to this. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. This is you investing in someone from the past, or it could be a past life soulmate. You know, the Six of Cups could be a representation of, um, you know, a true soulmate, you know, past life soulmate. I feel that with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this could also be a representation that this person looks back at the past, look ba looks back at exes, and they get scared to take a leap of faith. Like, someone here is just, at this point, scared to take that leap. But Spirit is saying that with the Nine, of cups and the empress here this new beginning will bring a lot of wish fulfillment the full card please oh okay we have the emperor in the reverse aries taurus energy and we have the seven of wands in the reverse this is going to be a little scary here taurus and i'm going to tell you why because there's this energy of oh my gosh am i going to regret this am i going to five of cups eight of cups seven of cups and the devil am i going to regret this but, you know is this all an illusion is this is this person just you know what i'm saying coming in to you know, torture my life and leave, is, is, am I going to regret this? There's a sense of releasing control here, Taurus, on this person's side. Um, it's going to be, I mean, if someone trusts in the divine, if someone, you know, is able to forgive something really beautiful can happen here. And don't, with the justice card in the reverse, someone here was really mistreated. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like, I feel like every time an opportunity presents itself, I feel like someone looks back at the past. They don't want to repeat the past. They don't want to let go of the past. But this would require, with the Emperor in the reverse, to release control. Release control is what I'm feeling here, especially with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Just release. Let go and, and just let that let the new come in. Let a, a cycle of your love life close out and let something new come in. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here, guys. And the Ace of Swords. So we've got Victory. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, which, oh, I, you can't see the cards, um, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which is completion in love, finances, setting goals. You've got something really beautiful coming in here. Temperance. We've got peace, Sagittarian energy, peace and healing. So let's see what we have here for us. Spirit, what challenge do we see here for my Taurus, please? What challenge do we see here? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Six of Swords. So this is a new beginning here, Taurus, that would require somebody to really put their heart out there. <coughs> So with the Six of Swords, I feel like if somebody takes this opportunity, leaves the past, it, it would require somebody to forget about the past and, and, and envision a future and move towards it. This would have to be a fresh new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, you know, really putting your heart out there and leaving the past behind. And it's kind of scary because with the Sun card, 
uh, the Four of Cups and the, the Nine of Wands here. I feel like, you know, someone here wants their pain to be acknowledged, not forgotten. So that's going to be the hard part. But if you can release that pain and that loneliness and that fear of rejection, you've got the Ten of Cups here. You have the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, I mean, guys, I see, like, if you just take take the chance, something really beautiful can come out of this. Tell me about the outcome. We've got the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. We've got the Nine of Cups. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy with the Star card under the deck, Aquarian Energy. So Taurus, I mean, this is a very strong soul tie. This is a wish fulfillment. And with the Knight of Pentacles, Spirit is saying, listen, if you want to take it slow, that's fine. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. If you want to take it slow, that's fine, but take the leap of faith because with the star card, everything that you've been wishing for, everything that you've been asking for is here. Page of Wands and the Four of Wands. This is stability, commitment, marriage, a home, family. You know what I'm saying? If you've been yearning for that, that commitment and that close tie, that perfect soulmate, look at these two soulmate cards, the Four of Wands and the Lover's card. It's here, but it's going to require having faith. It's going to require trusting the divine, okay? So let's see here. Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus. <coughs> I feel like, Taurus, what you have coming in here is you have someone that's going to give you the love that you deserve, the appreciation that you deserve. With joy is fun. You're going to have a great time with this person. They want to see you laugh. They want to... I feel like it's just like everything you've been wanting, okay? But with hidden motivation and loss, I feel that, yeah, see, you have this need, Taurus, to want to play it safe because you're afraid that someone hairs up to something and then you're going to lose this person. But I feel like you're about to discover here that someone has very real intentions someone has very real intentions discovery the honoring path and peace someone here really just wants a peaceful they want to just start a very peaceful life with you someone here is just really looking to um to have it all with you but there's a sense of fear you know don't let fear i'm sorry guys don't let fear hold you back from this oh good lord don't let fear hold you back from this are they done no, nope, they're not done. Any more? Okay, no. All right, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the Sun card, Broken Heart, and Patience. Yeah, Spirit is saying, listen, you oh, oh my gosh, hold on one second. Oh, my Lanta, one minute. All right. Okay, goodness. All right, so with the Sun card, Broken Heart, and Patience, Taurus, I feel like you have to acknowledge that you were hurt in the past. You were hurt in the past and you have to be patient with yourself. There is stability here though. <clears throat> there is stability here. If you can walk away from whatever that past trauma was, you've got cornucopia here, heaven on earth. You've got stability here. Um, be patient with yourself. Acknowledge the fact that you need healing. Acknowledge the fact that a lot has happened and then release. Forgive whatever you need to forgive and just release it. Don't let the whatever hurts you control your future. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. Past life relationship and playfulness. You have known each other before to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so to be honest with you here taurus what i'm feeling we've got wedding in the reverse the situation is involving marriage i feel like you feel like this this past person is just playing games like they're a player that th that they're not going to really commit Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and make the effort. You may have been in this energy of there's absolutely no way I will ever get back with this person. They're fake. They're a liar. I'm staying separated because this person doesn't love me. Okay. But I feel that a Taurus, this, this person may have hurt you in the past or people may have hurt you in the past but it's different it's different now keep an open mind okay this person is making the effort <coughs> towards you yeah see we've got reconciliation and guys here's what's interesting i have to be honest in this particular reading this could be an actual x 
from this lifetime. But I feel that for many of you, this is actually a new person and it's a soulmate energy, a past life soulmate energy. And this person wants to unite with you. They want to be with you, but you're so scared of past related, you know, relationships that you've had in this lifetime that you're scared to take that leap of faith. So for some of you, it's an actual ex coming back in. For others of you, it's someone new that you're going to meet that you have a very strong soul tie with. A very strong soul tie with passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this person's going to be very passionate about you, Taurus. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.